So for today's video, as requested, I wanted to bring back a series that I used to do years ago where I style one particular piece for all four seasons of the year. So in this video today, we're gonna to be styling a black t-shirt for summer, autumn, winter, and spring. To keep things realistic for this video, I decided to choose two different black t-shirt cuts. So we've got a short sleeve, more boxy cut for summer and spring. And then I've got a long sleeve, more fitted cut for autumn and winter. Both of these t-shirts are from a ethical brand called Booty. They're an Australian brand and I just love their basic pieces. As an Australian, it's nice to be able to buy from a local company. If you would like to see any one particular piece styled in future videos for all four seasons, let me know in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get started with all the outfits. So for summer's outfit, I'm starting with a base layer of the black t-shirt with beige linen shorts. This black t-shirt has a nice high neckline with a ribbed collar. It's made from bamboo and it's super soft against my skin. As it's quite long, I've tucked it in all the way around and then pulled it out slightly. I'm adding in these very old espadrilles that have a striped lace bow. I tie it around my ankle twice and then bow it on the outside edge of my ankle. I feel like these shoes often are a nice little addition to a very basic outfit. I'm choosing my brown bucket bag to bring in a bit of color to make this outfit a bit more interesting. And because it's summer, I get really hot around my neck with my hair down. So I'm getting this really big black scrunchie and I'm just gonna tie my hair up in a low ponytail. I'm then pulling out a few bits around my face for a relaxed look. I'm wearing my little gold hoops, which stay in my ears almost all the time and a gold bangle. And that's my first outfit. I could easily add in a belt to this outfit too but I love the way that these shorts look without a belt. But I think if you were into wearing belts, a nice thin black belt in this case would look really nice. So for spring's outfit, I'm using white denim jeans. I love the combination of black top with white or beige trousers. I find that I'm addicted to pinning these types of outfits on my Pinterest boards as well. I see them popping up on my boards all the time. So I really love this color palette. These jeans I got secondhand a couple of months ago. They're a nice relaxed loose fit and they're super long so I can wear them in winter over boots as well. The seam on one side of my legs is a little uneven. It kind of pops around to the front a bit but it doesn't bother me too much and that's kind of what you get for secondhand shopping sometimes. Things aren't perfect, but you know what? It's okay. I'm going to add on some extra jewelry, this bangle from Monica Vinita on my other wrist. And then I've also decided to add some necklaces as well. I started off with this locket pendant necklace and I wanted to layer a couple of extra ones on. So I added this chain. I then wanted to add a third one, but I wasn't loving the way that this looked and thought the locket should be on the longer chain. So I decided to take the locket off and put it on the longer chain. I attached that back on and I like the way it looks a lot better now with the locket on the longer chain. Next up, I decided to add a belt. You guys know that I don't wear belts very often. This is one of two belts that I own. And this one I've actually been wearing so much with these white jeans. It's like a really, really dark brown plaited belt. And I actually got this from the men's section of a charity shop years ago. And I love the way that that looks over these white jeans. Next up is shoes. I first had in mind that I wanted to wear these beige flats and of course they work, but I just didn't find it very interesting. And because I had all this jewelry on, I thought that my black chunky sandals would just look a lot cooler. And when I put them on, I loved this look for my personal style. The trousers are long, so I am cuffing them twice because I think in spring and summer, when you're wearing sandals, showing off a little bit of ankle is a bit nicer than not having a gap between your jeans and your sandals. And then for a bag, I've added my black tote bag. I also thought some black sunnies would just finish off the look really nicely. And that that is my spring outfit. So for autumn, we're going for something a little different. I'm now wearing the long sleeve fitted black t-shirt and I've popped over these dark denim overalls. I'm wearing the same bangles and I've just got two of the same necklaces on from before I took the long pendant off. I was recently gifted these overalls from Whimsy and Row. They 
are a brand that I have admired for such a long time and I've really wanted to test their pieces out. And this is something that I have been looking at for over a year. So when they contacted me to collaborate, I was so excited. I love the way that dark denim looks with black. I think it's a really nice color combination. And I thought this outfit would look really cute with my white Converse. So I popped them on and I loved the way that they looked with this, very sweet. I'm using my brown bucket bag again just to bring in a little bit of color. And that's my autumn look. However, we know that autumn can be cold sometimes. So I thought let's try some layers and I'm popping on my trench coat to begin with. And I just love how this has finished off the look. I think it's very relaxed and cool and modern. And then of course, I'd also be able to throw over a jumper in autumn if I wanted to. I love styling my jumper over my shoulders like this at the moment. I know a lot of people don't like this, but forgive me, I really like throwing my jumper just casually over my shoulders. And just so you can see what it looks like, I've also popped this jumper on top. It's a nice cropped jumper, sits nicely at my waist and just looks like I'm wearing jeans. Last but not least, here is my winter outfit. I'm wearing a really old pair of rollers denim jeans, which I got secondhand. They're one of my favorite jeans to wear in winter. They sit really nicely over a pair of boots and they're nice and snug as well. I love wearing long sleeve fitted t-shirts in winter because obviously they're just a great layering piece. You can throw jumpers and coats on top. Here I'm adding my black coat on top of this outfit and just my small black handbag. Obviously just wearing a t-shirt under a coat wouldn't suffice for a lot of winter climates. It's definitely fine for me here in Sydney but on cooler days your chest and body needs to be covered a bit more so I went to my bedroom and I grabbed my newest knit edition jumper which was my one and only Black Friday purchase. It's from the Knotty Ones and these jumpers are handmade and and made ethically in Lithuania. And it's something I've had on my wish list for over a year. And it is honestly the most beautifully made knit I've ever owned in my life. So I love the blue color. It's bringing in a really beautiful blue into my wardrobe. It looks really nice with blue denim jeans. It looks really nice with white denim jeans and lots of different colors. So once again, I'm throwing it over my shoulders like a scarf because truth be told, it's actually a 30 degree day in Sydney. My aircon is blasting and I am sweating so much. So I actually don't want to put this jumper on, but you guys get the picture and that is my winter outfit. Next week, I'm gonna try and get out a video about spring summer fashion trends that we've seen on the runway and shop my wardrobe for these items. But I'm going to once again style outfits for all four seasons of the year, but just draw inspiration from the spring summer fashion trends. So thank you so much for watching today. Like this video if you liked it. Let me know what video you wanna see next in terms of one piece styled for all four seasons. As always, I'm so grateful for you watching today. Don't forget to spread kindness this week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.